guys. Uh, so for today's Pilates workout, we're going to be doing bar arms and Pilates abs. So for this one, you'll need a light set of dumbbells and your mat. Everything's going to be done on the floor, uh, but make sure you stick with lighter set of weights, okay? So trust me on that one. <laughs> let's slide back. Go ahead. Let's just sit to one side. We're going to just take a little stretch here. Let's reach one arm up. Take a little stretch up and over. And come on up. Stretch to the other side. Starting with a little mermaid stretch. And take it up and over. Up and back. Good work, guys. One more time up and over to the other side. Good. Let's just stay here. Bring this arm in front. Take a little tricep stretch here. And we'll take that arm up and back. And release. Good. Let's sit on top of the heels. Take a little big breath here. And exhale. Let's just block it out into a child's pose. Just feel that extension through your spine. Reach the arms out long in front. Feel that opposition. Head to hips. Nice work. Walk the hands back up. Let's sit to that other side. We'll take our mermaid stretch on the other side. Reach it up. Stretch it over. And bring it up and stretch. Good. One more time. Up and over. And up and stretch. Good. Feel that length on the side of the waist. Take that arm in front. A little tricep stretch here. All right. Up and back. All right, let's bring it back to that center stretch. Inhale. And exhale, just walk it out one more time. And walk it back. Very nice. Let's take it to our mat. We're going to start with a 100, just kind of warms everything up. And then we have a good uh, shoulder burn for us today. So roll it back. We're going to bend those knees, tabletop. And let's curl up head, neck, and shoulders, arms at your side. Start pumping those arms. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. On your exhale, this time stretch the legs straight up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. On your exhale, start to lower those legs on the diagonal. Exhale. Breathe. Good. Inhale. Exhale, drawing that belly button to spine. Exhale. Can you lower those legs one more time? Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now let's hold right here. Lift the shoulders up. Two. Good. We use this one a lot of times at the beginning of our bar class. Six. Seven. Let's stay at the top. Hands behind that. Beat those heels. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, hug it in. Nice job, let's roll it up. Now, we're gonna find our weights. We're gonna take a little variation on our thigh dance, throwing in some shoulders. So if you guys are familiar with that thigh dance, we're gonna be sitting on our heels to start, okay? And these are about maybe one fist distance apart. And we're gonna start with our weights. I'm gonna slide back a little bit because as you know, we stretch it out into some push-ups after this. So bend those elbows 90 degrees like we would in a bar class. Let's lift it all the way up and then come down so that you're hovering over those heels. Now we're gonna do a little lift with the arms and the seat. Lift it up and down. Lift, lower, lift and lower. Good, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Now same thing, let's go a little faster and we lift. Two, three, four, good. Five, six, seven, let's go. Eight more, not letting our seat touch our heels. Three, four, good. Five, six, seven, now hold that hover. Switch those arms, switch one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Good, you should be feeling this one in the thighs. Breathe, switch, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, and switch, two, four, five, six, both arms, press it up, two, Three, I know, four, five, six, seven, eight. Weights down, shoot straight out. 
take it into some push-ups. Take it down and up. You got it. Down and up. You can be on your knees for those push-ups. Three. Good. Push-ups work the arms and the abs. Ready? Hold at the top. Just bend your knees. You bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. One more. Four more push-ups. Go. Four. Press. Three. Nice job, guys. Two. And one. Sit back. Let's stretch that out. Whew. Breathe. Roll it up. Let's take a quick stretch because guess what? That's not the last time we're going to see that one. We're going to go back in for another round of 100s, and then we got another round of that. Take that stretch up and over. Whew. And bring it back. Let's straighten out that front leg. Take a stretch right here for your hamstring. Nice work. Bring the knees back together. Take this opposite leg. You want to be a little bit slightly diagonal, stretching out the front of that opposite hip flexor. Breathe. Stretch it up and over. And let's bring it back. Flex through that foot. Hinge forward. Sit up right now. You want the leg straight in front of you. Great work, guys. All right. Back to the mat. Back to the 100s. We'll end up doing about 200 today. Bend those knees 90 degrees. Curl it up, head, neck, and shoulders. Let's pump those arms. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Really use the breath to drive you. Exhale, now straighten those legs up, inhale. Exhale, start to lower them on the diagonal. Exhale, and it's okay if your legs are not going that far down. Exhale, you wanna stay in control of that movement. Exhale, if you can, lower another inch or two. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, one more. Exhale, now lift the shoulders up. Two, good, reach. Four, five, six, stay at the top, hands behind the head, beat the heels. Two, three, maybe a little lower. Five, six, seven, eight, hug it in. Whew. Roll it up, stretch it out. All right, guys, we got another round of that shoulders thigh dance. Tons of fun, right? So let's set it up. Your knees are about this distance apart. Bring those weights up. Lift it up. You're going to hover. Start slow. A little lift, a little lower. And we're not taking the arms very high. Those of you that take bar regularly, you know it's a small range of motion we're working with here. Lift, lower. Working on all those tiny little details in the body. Ready? little faster and we lift Whew. two three four these are getting your heart rate up too but I don't need to tell you that eight more one two lift three four five six seven now hold that hover switch it up go one two three four I know my legs are shaking you got this switch two three four one more set here one two three, four. Now both arms, press it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put them down. Shoot straight up. Push-ups. Let's go down and up, down and up. Are you breathing? Four more. Go. Four. Press. Three. Up. Two. One. Now bend your knees. Go bend and stretch, bend, and stretch, bend, and stretch. Last one, four more push-ups. Let's go, one, and up, two, three, and four. Sit back, stretch it out, Whew. breathe. All right, guys, we got one more for shoulders. Shake it out. You're only gonna need one weight on this one, okay? And again, we've done this one, in bar class before. So just put one weight aside. We'll start up on our knees. Catch your breath if you need to. Grab some water. One leg out to the side. And we're going to come down. You want your shoulders stacked one on top of the other. And this weight's right in front here. Okay? 
We're going to lift it straight up to the shoulder height here, right in front. Down. Two. Three. Four. Looking good, guys. Five. Six. Seven. Little rest. Now we're going to open it out to the side for seven. Down. Six. Five. Four. We got this. Good. Three. Two. One. Little rest. One front. One side. We lift. Front. Open it. Side. And down. Front. Side. Three more. Front. Side. We got this. I know it's tough. Two. Last one. Try not to swing it. Front. And side. Little rest. Now, stretch that out. All right. So we're going to give this right arm a little rest. We're going to take it into the tricep of this left arm. This is another one that we do a lot of times in our bar warm up. I love it because it doesn't require any equipment at all. We're going to sit into our left hip, sort of like we did in our warm up, stretch the mermaid. We're going to take this arm out to the side. Now, on this one, think about pulling in through your abs. Your elbow is going to bend in towards your rib cage. We don't want it coming out to the side like this or to the back, pulling it in towards your rib cage. This other arm, we're going to bring it in front, like a first position arm in ballet, nice and open through our collarbone. Okay? Ready? Let's start slow. Bend and extend. Good. Down. Press. Breathe. Good. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Down. Let's take it to a little pulse here. You pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now hold, keep that arm bent. Outside arm scoops up and over and down, up and over, down, up and over, down, up and over, hold. Now we take it down, slow, down, slow. Go try and keep this shoulder down. Pulse it out right here. We pulse. Two, how's that left tricep? Four, six, Seven, keep that arm bent. Circle the arm down and up, down and up, down and up. Hold it right here. Take it down and up, down and up. All right, now, a little shaky. Pulse right here for eight, seven, breathe, six, five, beautiful, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Amazing job, guys. Stretch that out. Okay, before we do the other arms in both of those little series, we're going to take it into some ab exercises. So, stretch that out. We'll bring it down to the mat. So, we don't need those weights just yet. Take it all the way back. We're going to start with our Pilates double leg stretch. So, we're going to curl up head, neck, and shoulders, reaching for those heels. And then we're going to inhale on our exhale, extend arms and legs together. And then reach around, reach for those heels. And if you want, you can always take the head all the way back on this one and then curl it back up. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Reach for those heels. Inhale. Exhale. Reach. And it's okay if your legs are not as low as mine are going. Reach. Extend. Reach. Good. Extend. And reach. Couple more here. Extend, stretch, and reach. Extend, and reach. Extend, and reach. Great job. Lower that head down for a second here. Just let the knees sort of shake side to side. And I'll take it to a crisscross. You know I love my bicycle maneuver here. Hands behind your head, elbows wide. Curl up head, neck, and shoulders. And let's twist and hold. One, two, and switch. Hold for two. Hold two. Switch. Hold two. Good. Hold two. Hold two. Hold two. Hold. Let's pick up that tempo right here. Switch two. Really trying to lift your shoulder blade off the mat. Good. Can you reach your arms up? Two. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hug it in. But it's important to remember when you extend those arms out, try not to let them go behind your head or behind your ears as a point of reference because we don't want to let that rib cage splay open. So when we're stretching, of course, that's fine. Take a full body stretch right here. And let's roll it back up. All right, guys, shake it out. Let's take that other side. We're gonna grab our one weight. We're getting into that shoulder series here, taking one leg out to the side. We're gonna stack shoulders one on top of the other. This weight is right in front here. Lift it to shoulder hip. One and down. Two, three, four, five. Not so bad, right? Six, but we know it's coming. Seven, now a little rest. We're gonna turn it out towards the side for seven, six, five, four. Great job, guys. Three, two, one. Okay, big breath. One front, one side. Here we go. It's front and side. We have six sets. That was one, two side. Whew. Three. Side. We're halfway there. Four. Down. Two to go. Five. Side. This is where it's really important to use the light weight. Six. And down. Oh my goodness. That is tough. That light weight really doesn't feel too light on that one. Stretch it out. Arm up and back. And remember, if your weights are a little on the heavier side, you don't have a set of twos or threes, um, grab a water bottle, grab something else to supplement because that way you still get that resistance, but it's not so hard that you're struggling and losing form. All right, let's take this right arm out to the side. We're gonna sit into that hip, like that mermaid stretch. Arm is out to the side. Just do a couple test ones here. Make sure that elbow is coming in towards your rib cage. Other arm is out in front in a first position, right in front of your belly button. Bend that bottom arm down and up, down and up, beautiful. Down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. Good, nice and open through the chest and the collarbone. Pulse it down right here, a little pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now hold that arm bent. Take that arm up and over, down the middle, up, down, and up, down, and up, down. Now hold, you bend and straighten, good. Bend and stretch, bend and stretch. Get ready, pulse for eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now hold, we're gonna circle it down, up the center. Down, how's that right arm? Down and up, down, hold right here and take it down and stretch. We have those singles before we pulse. Three, four, now pulse right here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it up, bring this arm across, breathe. All right, that's not the last we're gonna see of triceps. We are gonna use the weight. Again, but first we have that set of ab work. So let's bring it back down to our mat. So these are two out of our five exercise ab series that we do in Pilates class. So we're gonna start with our knees bent. We have that double leg stretch, curling up head, neck, and shoulders, reaching for those heels. Inhale, exhale, extend it out. And then reach for those heels. And remember, you can always modify, take that head down. Maybe don't take the legs quite so low on that diagonal. It's all about working within your point of control. Okay, wherever your body is today, that's what we work with. And reach, and reach for those heels. Stretch, reach for the heels. Beautiful, stretch. Good, really think about hollowing out through the abdominals. Reach and stretch. How about two more here? We stretch out and reach and out 
and reach. Great job, lower the head down. Good, just let the knees rock side to side. We have those crisscrosses next, okay? So set that up, hands are behind the head, elbows nice and wide, chin off the chest, curling up head, neck, and shoulders. And let's twist and hold for two, then switch for two. Good, really reaching, getting that shoulder blade off the mat. Switch for two, good, squeeze two, switch two. Ready to pick up that tempo, here we go, switch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Extend the arms if you're up to it. Otherwise, you can keep those hands behind your head. Five, six, seven, eight. Nice work. Hug it in. Stretch it out. Awesome job, everybody. Float those arms up, curling up head, neck, shoulders. Stretch it forward. All right, so we're gonna take it into one more for our triceps. We're gonna take one weight again. Make sure it's nice and light. I even have my water bottle here if I decide that it's too much, okay? So you guys know we do this one a lot of times standing in bar, but we're just gonna do an arm extension behind us to work our tricep. And you can always do this one with no weights at all. So we're gonna start on our knees, okay? We're gonna take that opposite hand to our thigh. I just want you to hinge forward from the hips. Now let's just start a little lift, up and down. And down, up, good. So if you look at me from the side, my back is still nice and flat here. Lift and lower, you got it. Lift and lower, lift and lower, lift. Now let's pulse it up here. Up, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now hold it at the top, take that weight in and out, in and out, in and out, in. A little faster, slice it in. Two, three, four. Now we're going to combine those two. Six, seven. We lift up and in. Go up and in. Up and in. Up and in. Good. Keep that neck in line. Four, in. Three, in. Nice job, guys. Two, one. Just pulse it up here. Eight, seven. Good. Try and keep the shoulders square. I know it's hard. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness, put that down, shake it out, stretch it out. Great work. All right, so before we do that other side, we're gonna throw in an ab exercise. Let's start with one, we're gonna use the weight for this one, okay? So it's sort of like a take on that half roll back. We're gonna stretch our legs out long in front, hold that weight in front of us, draw the belly button in, shoulders down, and then let's roll it back over the first five bones, in the tailbone, hold. Now let's stretch that weight out and in, out and in, out and in. Hold it out, lift it up, out to your forehead, down. Not too high, down, up and down. Give me one more here, up, down, and then curl everything in, stretch it forward. Great job, let's do that one again. Start with the weight in front, belly button in, back nice and straight, ready? If you need to um, soften the knees a little bit, if your hamstrings feel tight, and let's roll it back. The legs don't have to be perfectly straight. Hold, and stretch those weights out and in. For more of a challenge, you could double up your weights here. One weight will do just fine for me today. Now hold it out there, lift it up. And down, up, two more, up, and down, up, and down, and then let's roll it forward. Very nice, now sit up. We're gonna bring that weight in, and just start to twist it out, twist. Good, we're gonna start to lean it back, twist, twist. Good, ring out that waistline, twist, twist, and then twist. Good, and this one, you just need very light weight or no weights at all, pulse it to that right side for one, two, three, four, good, five, six, seven, now twist it out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good, and eight, and stretch it out, put the weight down, great job, 
Good. Let's take a quick stretch here. Look through our abs, lift it up, take it up and over. We're getting ready to do that other side. All right, guys, find that light weight. Whatever you did on one side, make sure you even things out, okay? So we're gonna sit down on our heels. I have this other hand right here just to kind of support me a little bit. If I was standing up, I would have that um, opposite hand on that side. And then we're gonna hinge forward. Remember, back is nice and flat. And then we lift and lower. Good, lift and lower. Lift, this arm is already shaking. Lift and lower, lift and lower lift and pulse it up. We've been focusing so much on legs with all of our bar work that I thought it would be nice to kind of change it up a little bit and focus on the arms for a change. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now hold it up here, slice it to the middle and out. Two, three. Now a little faster, go in. Two, I know, three, four, five, six. You're ready to combine it. Let's go. Lift it up and in. I know. Up and in. Up and in. Up and in. Up and in. One more. Now just pulse it up there. One, two. I'm fighting for it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness. Put it down. Whew. Such a small movement. Has a big impact though. Stretch it out. Good, just let the arms kind of shake out a little bit. All right, guys, moving on. Back into that ab work, okay? These are our half rollbacks with a little bit of bonus arm work thrown in here. So we want that weight right in front, drawing the belly button in, sitting up nice and tall. You can't really tell because of my top here, but you want your back nice and flat. Draw the belly button in, scoop it in, hold. Hold right here. Now extend those arms out. Right in front of you. In. Out. Pull it in. Out. And in. Out. And in one more. Hold it out here. Now lift it up. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. And down. One more. Down. And then let's stretch it forward. Nice work, reset the body, nice and tall. Weights right in front, draw your belly button in, scoop it down. Hold, now stretch that weight in front and down. Good, out and in. Two more. Good, getting a little bit of chest and shoulders. Now lift it up. And down. So much focus and control here. Stay in control of that movement. You worked hard. And stretch it forward. Awesome job, everybody. Let's sit up tall. Bring that weight in. We're going to start that twist. This time we're going to twist it to the left first so that we do that pulse on the left side. And twist left and right. Good, lean it back. Lift, bring up that waistline. Left and then right, left, right. Pulse to that left side. Here we go. Pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now twist it out here. One, two, three, four. Good. Five, six, seven. Eight. Awesome job, everybody. Stretch it out. Breathe. And let's sit up. Time to stretch it all out. All right, lift it up. Good. I just have the legs crossed. Nice and easy here. Take a stretch up and over to the side. I'm going to try to relax. No tension in the neck. And let's take it up and over to the other side. And bring it up. Good. Let's do a little stretch for our neck today. We're just very gently take that right hand to the left side and just take a little stretch here, not forcing anything. And release. Good. Let's take the other hand 
up and just a very gentle stretch. And bring it on up, guys. Let's just drop the chin to the chest and just kind of let the heads go side to side. A lot of times when we focus on the upper body and the ab work in Pilates, we can hold some extra tension in our neck. Let's take a full circle here, fully. All the way around. And let's go the other way, very carefully, slowly. You definitely don't want to rush through your stretches. Very nice, big breath, inhale. Exhale, let's take one more stretch, legs extended. Just walk the hands out very gently. Let your head just stretch forward. And I always like to just do a little shake here, side to side. Once again, just getting rid of any leftover tension in the neck. And then let's walk it back up. Big breath, inhale. And exhale, great work today, guys. I hope you like that. And I will see you back on Friday with some type of cardio workout. I'm sure I'll have some type of kickboxing involved. So have a great day.